There's a shooting war in Oakland, a deadly battle for turf between drug dealers, police and citizens. The dealers shoot first and don't even bother to ask questions later. As Tom DeRees reports, the savagery in Oakland makes TV Vice seem almost nice. For all its reputation, Miami this year has fewer murders for its size than Oakland. And Miami has nowhere near the number of drug-related killings. Oakland is in the midst of a violent battle over control of the drug trade. Police say that drugs have been responsible for 41 murders already this year. Miami police report only 16 drug-related killings so far. The Oakland totals as of this week, 98 homicides, 42% of them drug-related. Last year at this point, there had been more murders in Oakland, 106, but only 27% involved drugs. Oakland homicide detectives say the new breed of crack dealer is younger and often armed with an automatic weapon. Lieutenant James Hahn says the dealers are casual about killing to protect their business. Because of the younger age of these people, he doesn't go out and just break an arm. And now it's just you, you, they go out and they commit a murder. There is no attempt to collect on the debt anymore. It's, a, it's just a punishment for failure to pay. This funeral last year might have been the beginning of the trouble. Felix Mitchell was king of Oakland's drug trade and he was killed in prison. Three other Oakland drug lords also went to jail. The result was a vacuum in the drug business. Lieutenant Hahn. What we have is a, an oversupply, so to speak, and uh, easy access to an awful lot of people who want to get into the drug trade for the quick profits. Oakland police are quick to say that the drugs fought over here are often consumed in the more exclusive parts of the Bay Area. In Oakland, Tom DeVries.